Well, welcome back to Uniquely Us. This is Frank, and this is Frank's Take, and I appreciate you guys coming in today. Frank's Take is where I scurred the internet to find stories that are interesting that you might find in interesting and present them to you here. Well, we're actually doing a follow-up story to one of the stories we did earlier this week, talking about the Georgia Guidestones. If you don't know, the Georgia Guidestones, which were referred to as American Stonehenge, were destroyed uh, uh, early this week, or actually late last week, they were destroyed uh, when there was an explosion that took out one of the slabs. And then the very next day, the county sent its crew in to knock down the rest of the, the stones and because of safety concerns. Well, in that video, we had talked about there was a time capsule that was supposedly buried underneath the uh, stone hedge or the guide stones there about six feet, five, six feet underneath there. And it didn't have a time of to when it, to open this time capsule. There was no set date, so it could be opened at any time, I suppose. Well, apparently, the county crews didn't find anything. So we'll dive into that story in just a moment. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully, you can share with your friends and family. Smash that like button to 200 likes. And of course, if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, you can smash that super thanks as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the bright uh, coming to us from Breitbart. It says, no time capsule found underneath destroyed Georgia Guidestones following the uh, exhibition of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this story because it's quite interesting. Despite speculation that a time capsule allegedly laid buried underneath the remains of where the mysterious Georgia Guidestones once stood, no artifacts were found by the team or by the crews. Now, allegedly, the markers itself said there were a time capsule there. So I'd just like to point that out. Uh, plaques at the site of the former Granite Monument had writings on them alleging that a time capsule lay six feet underneath. Fox 5 reported. The writings also contain unfinished instructions on when to open the, the capsules, reading to be opened on dot, dot, dot. Crews with the Elbert County Road Department removed a plaque on Friday and excavated six feet below to see if the claims were true, the Elberton Star reported. The claims turned out to be wrong. Even as crews started their uh, dig after removing the plaque, they noticed there was no prior signs of digging since Georgia's red clay was packed tightly at the bottom. The star wrote, once crews reached six feet, nothing was found. The star noted that the executives with the Albert uh, Gr uh, Granite Association claimed that the plaque uh, with the time capsule instruction was supposedly placed at the Guy Stones in 1982, which is after the Granite Monument was completed in 1980. Social media, some social media users joked about the wide range of bizarre theories of what could have been placed inside the time capsules. Theor, uh, theories range from a sign issue of Playboy magazine featuring Burt Reynolds and Pert Belt emblem, an eight track of the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, and several dozen uh, Kool-Aids were found in the box. So what they said, it would probably be in there. But of course, nothing was found. And which, you know, leads me to, you know, it leads us down this other path now. Are they lying or there was there truly nothing buried there at all? Uh, is it the county covering it up? Did the excavation team actually only dig to five or did they really measure it? Did they eyeball it or did they even bother going down a little bit deeper to see maybe it was misjudged as far as how far down it was? Very interesting. Lots of questions still surrounding this mystery uh, they are moving on from it, though. They're saying that there was nothing there. I'm very curious to see what you guys think. Do you guys believe the official story, which they said there was never a time capsule to begin with? Or do you believe there is and they're just covering it up? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We're so close to our 5,000 subscriber goal. Hopefully, we can reach that soon. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers who have already joined us. Thank you so much for making uh, this an amazing channel to broadcast on. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Have a great, great day.